Here I have a picture of a flower and it's on the left of my screen. But what if I want it in the centre? How can I do that? I'm going to show you one way you can do this quite easily. So I'll just go to my editor and we'll see the flower just here. So that's what it, that's putting that image on the screen. To, so to centre it, what we need to do is to use some CSS. So we need style and make some room in there. I like to have plenty of room. So we use IMG, which applies to all images, on all of the images on the page. And we're going to do margin. And it's a clever trick, this, which I didn't invent, unfortunately, but there you go. And zero, that applies to the top and the bottom margin, which we're not bothered with at the moment. And then auto, which is the clever bit. So I'll save that and go back to the browser. And now I'll refresh the page and the image should be in the centre. <gasps> oh dear, it isn't in the centre. What could possibly have gone wrong? Back to the editor. The issue here is that images are by default inline items, so you can intermingle them with text. You could have half a sentence of text, an image, and then the rest of the sentence of text. And that's one good way of using images. But the consequence of that is that you can't center them using this technique. But what we can do is we can convert the display parameter, so display, and we'll call it block. And it is as simple as that. I could have put that after margin, but I just like the display to be one of the earlier things in the CSS. So I'll save it, go back to the browser, and reload the page. And there we have it, the images in the centre. All we have to do is use the margin zero auto. Let's just go back. All we have to do is use the margin zero auto, but we need to make sure that the image is displayed as a block. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.